afternoon all hope all are safe at home today we are going to discuss two topics from module 4 min max search procedure and alpha beta pruning in the we shall see the glance into our syllabus first coming on to the first module it gives introduction about what is artificial intelligence its history application and introduction about what is informed and uninformed searches and the second module deals with some basic search algorithms as we all know searching is important in the field of computer science and artificial intelligence because we want to frame logic to solve many problems like routing and many other computer related problems so searching is important then third module in the third module method of converting various problems into different schemes is explained these schemes help understand problems more easily so that the solution can be extracted very easily also some machine learning techniques are also discussed there so the first three modules are already done then coming on to fourth module it discusses the topics of with advanced search algorithms so from the fourth module today we are going to discuss about min max search procedure and alpha beta pruning and finally fifth and sixth module explains learning concepts and expert systems now coming on to what is artificial intelligence artificial intelligence is nothing but it is the mother of making a machine to think and act like a human being normally we have done many programs and we have developed many softwares so there we are using two concepts that is acting rationally and thinking rationally it is enough to make the machine to act rationally and think rationally act rationally and think rationally what is that rationally it means that is uh, based on some logic or based on some conditions the problems will be solved but to make a machine to think and act like a human being that is artificial intelligence concept to achieve this acting rationally and thinking rationally is not enough we also need acting to make the machine act like a human and think like a human that is purely psychological based and it is not easy task so to make a machine think and act like a human being we need four aspects act like a human think like a human act rationally think rationally all the all these four things are put together so that the machine can be made to think and act like a human being so this is psychological basic and the process is as it is complex normal procedures search procedures are not enough to solve all these problems so game is important in artificial intelligence so there comes the concept of game playing and this game playing environment can be categorized into two types competitive environment and cooperative environment now we shall see what is competitive environment consider the game example game chess chess is a two player game in this game we have two players let them be player 1 and player 2 player 2 will play the game so that he has to win the game and player 2 must not win his objective or his aim is player 2 must not win that I, and i must win that was his motive similarly player 2 want himself to win so here they are competing with each other and this type of game playing environment is called as competitive environment and consider some outdoor games like cricket there a team of members n number of players together form a team 
and team A and team B are playing the game. The members of all the team, team A, they cooperatively they work for the success of their team. And this type of environment is environment is named as co cooperative environment. Okay, whether the environment is competitive or cooperative, at the end of the game, team A or player A either win the game while the other team or other player will lose the game or else the game will end in a draw. If the if a particular team win the game, then the utility function assigned for that team will be plus one. For the team who fail the game, will get the utility function value minus one. And if the game ends in draw, then the utility function value will be zero. And games are important in artificial intelligence because they are too hard to solve. For example, in the chess game itself, it took it will take 35 power 100 states if you write the step by step procedure in some cases. At the maximum, 35 power 100 states are needed to explain this game. So, we cannot explain all the steps to every problem. So, in, in that case, there comes the concept called as we have to develop heuristic. In artificial intelligence, it is necessary to develop heuristic on how to make best possible use of time. What is that heuristic? You might have already, you know, 8 puzzle problem. For example, in 8 puzzle problem, you will have 9 columns and in 8 columns, there will be values from 1 to 8 will be shuffled and they are filled. This is the initial state and you will have a goal state. So you want to start from the initial state to reach the goal state. So explaining all these steps is not easy. Maybe for 8 puzzle problem, you can explain. If it is a 16 puzzle problem or 32 puzzle problem or 64 and so on, you can't explain everything step by step. So in that case, you need to develop a heuristic, a general heuristic for the uh, algorithm. For example, the heuristic for 8% eight, eight problem may be number of misplaced tiles or the distance of a particular time, a particular tile from its goal node. So these are the examples for heuristic. So in artificial intelligence, the better way is to develop some heuristic to uh, solve many problems. Now, it, let us enter into our topic, min-max search procedure. So this min-max search procedure is a two-player game. It is the algorithm, search algorithm, defined for or designed for a two-player game. Here we have two players, min and max. Player 1 is called as max, player 2 is called as min. In this min-max search procedure, Always the max will get the first chance. See this min max is a search algorithm or search procedure. In computer science, all the other normal search algorithms, there we will uh, start with the start node. We traverse through the nodes until the goal node is reached. But this is a game. This is not normal search like normal search algorithm this is not the case so here this is a game so player one and his opponent is there so this that, that is the difference with this search algorithm with normal search algorithms so first in this min max algorithm max will get the turn first then min will get the turn so max the aim of ma player max is he must win the game and uh, he want to minimize the min's score. Similarly, the aim of min is he want to win the game. Min want to win the game and it want to minimize max's score. This is the their motivation, their, their motive. And at the end, any one of either min or max, either one of them will win. The winning player will get the award 
while the other player will have to pay the penalty or the game will end in draw so move, move on to the next slide sixth slide so in this uh, min max uh, search I, i have already told you min max search algorithm it is a game this algorithm was designed to solve many game problems so we have seen many games in the previous modules so this min max search algorithm is designed to solve the search procedure in many games so generally we can define a game a game can be defined formally as is a kind of search problem with following components we can define a game formally as a kind of search problem with following components initial state success of function terminal state and utility function what is this initial state initial state is the state which identifies the board position or starting position of the player also which player to start in normal search algorithms this is not necessary only where to start the game is necessary but here as this is a game we want to know where to start the game and which player to start the game these two things are decided in the initial state then second is successor function see where to start the game and which player to start the game have been decided next thing is from the start or from the board position the particular player where he had to have to move that is successor function is a pair of value it, it identifies where to move and after the move where it reaches the rest, that is the resulting state where to move and after moving what is the resulting state these things are identified by the successor function next is after all traversal finally the uh, uh, pointer will start from the board position and it will reach the terminal state that end point where it reaches the objective the, the, the place where the objective is reached it is called as terminal state so to check whether it has reached the terminal state or not we have to do terminal test terminal test means it determines when it is determined when the game is over terminal state or terminal test it indicates that game has over or it is the state when the it is the state when the game is completed it indicates that the game has over that is called as terminal state then finally after the terminal state is reached utility function or objective function have to be calculated just i have told already for a chess game the value 1 for the winning player minus 1 for the loser and 0 if it is draw so this is the uh, formal definition of game let us move to the next slide so here a exam for for our understanding the tic tac toe game is explained here so you you are all of you are aware of tic tac toe in the previous modules so to understand how this min max algorithm proceeds so it is explained with a simple diagram of tic tac toe algorithm so the first the, it is a turn for max always so min max algorithm is designed for two player game it is a game uh, always the first turn will be for max so in tic tac toe game max places the value x in any one of the empty columns and the next turn is for min so min will places the value o in the remaining any one of the empty places and it will goes on until any one of the player win so finally utility function will be calculated this is how the min max algorithm is working this is a overall glance to understand how min max algorithm is working so come to the next slide see that in that slide the, just now I, the procedures are explained that is um, max is, has to move first and max will places x then min has to move it will places o at the leaf node when the 
leaf node means when the goal is reached, we call that node. The goal node is called as leaf node. The utility function have to be calculated. So coming to the next slide, we shall explain this min-max algorithm with, with one example. So before that, you must clear about the strategy. I have already told you general search algorithms where only it have to start the game or start from the starting state and it will move the, as a sequence to reach the goal node. But it is not the case in the game. In, in the game, opponent also is having the role. So see this example. So A is a max node, B, C, D are min nodes and B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3, D1, D2, D3, all again max nodes. If this example is taken for only two levels, so this is given. You can have n number of levels also. For your understanding, just I have taken the example with two levels. See, when you get a problem, only the utility values will be given. Here the utility values are 3, 12, 8, 2, 4, 6, 14, 5 and 2. These are the utility values. Remaining things we have to calculate by applying the algorithm. So first Initially, we will get only the utility values. So finally, we have to find the root node value. That is our objective. In this min-max search procedure, the objective is to find the root node value. That is max value of max. Only the leaf node values will be given. Utility function. Utility function will be only for the leaf node. Leaf node values will be given. And you have to find the value for B, C, D and A. So in order to find the value of A, you need the value of B, C, D in turn. And to find the value of B, you need the values of B1, B2, B3 uh, in turn in this example. So uh, we have to assume that the worst case, max has the value minus infinity and min has the value infinity. There is minus infinity to infinity. Max has the value minus infinity and min has the value infinity. So here the search takes place in depth first search manner. That also you have to remember the search takes place in depth first search manner. Because in order to find the value of A, it needs the value of B, C, D. So in, in order to find the value of B, you need the value of B1, B2, B3, etc. So it comes in depth first search order. So even though you want to find the value, final value for max, first you have to take the uh, utility functions or root values b1, b2, b3. That is 3, 12 and 8. So first we have assigned that min value is infinity. So first you have to check whether 3, you have to find the minimum among 3 and infinity. Your first utility value is 3, that is b1 value it is 3. You have to check 3 and infinity because you are assuming min value is infinity. So check for 3 and infinity which is minimum. You want to find the value of B. So B is min node. So minimum of 3 and infinity your answer will be 3. Then you have to check the minimum among 12 and infinity your answer will be 12. Comparing 12 and infinity 12 is the minimum. Then you have to check 8 and infinity. There also 8 is minimum compared with infinity. So the resultant value you obtain are 3, 12 and 8. So then from this resultant values 3, 12 and 8, you have to find the minimum among these 3 values. 3, 12 and 8. So minimum of this 3, 12 and 8 is 3. So you get a value 3 at node B. Hope you understand how you get the value 3 at node B. So same procedure you have to repeat for node C. So for to find the value of C, you have to take the values C1, C2 and C3. C1 it is 2, C2 it is 4, C3 it is 6. In the same way as the value of minimum value is infinity, how to compare 2 with infinity, 4 with infinity, 6 with infinity and you will get 2, 4 and 6. 
comparing 2 and infinity, the minimum of 2 and infinity is 2, minimum of 4 and infinity is 4, minimum value of 6 and infinity is 6. See, next step is you have to compare this resulting values 2, 4, and 6, and from these three values, you have to find minimum among these three values. So, minimum of 2, 4, and 6 is 2. So, you will get a value 2 for the node C. Same thing you have to repeat for D. How to compare the minimum of 14 and infinity, 5 and infinity, 2 and infinity. So, the uh, values you obtained are 14, 5, and 2. So, from these 14, 5, and 2, again you have to find minimum of 14, 5, and 2. You, you will get the value as 2. 2 is minimum of 14, 5, and 2. So, you get the value 2 at node D. So, now all the min values are computed. So, value of B is 3, value of D is 2, and value of C is also 2. The next step is you have to find the max value. That is value for node A. So, in this case, uh, the input values are 3, 2, and 2. That is the value of B, C, and D have to be taken as input value. So, we have assumed that. See, now we are calculating for max. So, we have to take minus infinity. So, we have to compare max value of. See, before we have, we have uh, compared min value. Now, we have to compare max value of B, that is 3. And minus infinity. Instead of infinity, you have to compare it with minus infinity. Maximum value of 3 and minus infinity. It is also the value, resulting value will be 3 there. Next, you have to compare the maximum of 2 and minus infinity. There you will get the resulting value 2. Then you have to compare the D value 2 and minus infinity. Here also it results in. 2. See, next you have to compare. The you, you got three resulting values 3, 2, and 2. So, maximum of these three values 3, 2, 2. So, the maximum of these three values is 3. So, you got a value 3 at root node. That is, A got the value 3. Hope you understood this example. So, now we shall move to the next slide. So, See the uh, triangle, the, the triangle with base at the bottom and apex at the top indicates a max node and the triangle with base at the top and apex at the bottom indicates min node and in this way the game will be continued till you, you get the value of final value for max. So uh, now sh we shall move to the next slide. So, we can define this algorithm. So, now we can, I hope you understood the concept. Now, we shall explain uh, the min-max algorithm. The min-max value of n is equal to utility of the terminal node. It is nothing but the final value will be utility of the root node or uh, utility of the node. If the node is max node, then maximum of the uh, Participating entities or all the utility functions have to be calculated. If the node is a min node, then minimum of this will be computed. So now we shall see the next slide. By applying this definition, see what I have explained with the uh, diagram is mathematically derived here. See min max value. Min max value is uh, min max value of A, root node A, it is equal to maximum of min of 3 12 8 comma min of 2 4 6 and min of 14 5 and 2 so minimum of 3 12 8 is 3 minimum of 2 4 and 6 is 2 again minimum of 14 5 and 2 it is also 2 so it is equal to maximum of 3, 2, 2. 
which is equal to 3. So this is how the minimax algorithm works. Now we shall see the algorithm. The next slide. See function minimax algorithm. So its input is inputs are states. So first we have to find max value. So the function max value will be called. And here while calculating max value, it in turn calculates, it in turn needs the value of min, min value. So function min value will be computed. So in min value, it in turn needs max value. As long as the length of the tree, this will go on and it will be computed. And finally, you will get the value of root node. So this is about minimax search algorithm. So hope are clear about this minimax algorithm. Next, we shall move to alpha beta pruning. So there is a problem with this minimax algorithm. To address that problem, this alpha beta pruning is introduced. So the working of alpha beta pruning is also same as minimax algorithm with a slight difference. See the problem with minimax search algorithm is that See, large number of nodes or large number of states need to be uh, traversed. We have to traverse all the nodes, all the nodes involved in the uh, traversal procedure. Uh, in some case, some nodes or some subtrees are not significant for the final resultant value. So in Minimax, according to Minimax algorithm, all the nodes have to be traversed everywhere it has to search and finally only to be getting the final decision. So, but this is not needed if some nodes or some of the subtrees are not necessary for final decision. So, uh, alpha beta pruning. Pruning means some nodes will be removed or ignored. Those nodes or those subtrees that are not necessary for the final decision can be removed or ignored from the uh, search procedure. That, that is called as alpha beta pruning. In alpha beta pruning, alpha represents max, which is equal to minus infinity, and beta represents min, which is equal to infinity value. So, for the understanding, uh, see here the two values, C1 and C2 values, sorry, C2 and C3 values are marked as x and y. This is just for understanding the same example I have taken, but for to understand the significance, importance of alpha beta pruning, two nodes C2 and C3 are marked as X and Y. In the same procedure as done in the minimax algorithm, here also utility values will be given. From the utility value, you have to find the uh, minimum value first, then maximum value, and so on. So our aim is to find the max value A. So utility functions are given. So as in the previous example, the value of B, that is minimum of 3, 12, and 8, it is, it will be 3. Minimum of 3, 12, so value of B will be 3. And see in uh, C1, C2, C3, the values are 2x and y. So uh, here the next step is you want to find the value of C. While well, finding the value of C, you have to find minimum among 2x and y. If the value of x and y is greater than 2, while finding minimum of 2x and y, you will get the resulting value as 2. Hope you are clear. See, while uh, we are assuming that we are considering that the value of, if any one of the value or both of the value of x and y are greater than 2. If they are greater than 2, then while finding minimum of 2x and y, your value will be 2. Greater value will be neglected, so your value will be 2. So suppose if the value of x and y, any one of the value or both the value are less than 2. If it is less than 2, Answer it as is it. The lesser value will be is it. Then your C value will be is it. Minimum of 
and is set that minimum value is set your answer resulting answer at c will be is set and in the case of d as usual 14 5 to your minimum value will be 2 so what is your value b c and d it will be 3 z and 2 so we know is set is less than 2 while finding maximum value among 3 is set which is less than 2 and 2 what will be your max value your max value will be 3 definitely your max value as is set is less than 2 definitely your max value will be 3 so even without this c2 and c3 values that is x and y even without that value you can get the same answer for a as 3 so in this example x and y value can be proven or ignored that value is not necessary for the final decision so this technique this is called as alpha beta pruning so come to the next slide so the thing i have explained here is mathematically derived see max of min of 3 12 8 min of 2 x y and min of 4 sorry 14 5 the minimum of 3 12 8 it is 2 minimum of 2 x y this given as it is 2 x y then minimum of 14 5 2 it is 2 next step there we are assuming the minimum value of x x and y is is it so Minimum of two and is it? So the final value max of three is it and two will be three if is it is less than or equal to two. This is how we can prove the unnecessary or we can ignore some nodes that are not necessary for the final decision. So finally, coming to the next slide, the general principle followed here is. somewhere in the tree so for if there is a better choice m than a node n then that n node or a subtree itself can be removed from the search procedure so we can save the time and we can do the process very easily so this is uh, alpha beta pruning so next we shall see the algorithm for alpha beta pruning function alpha beta pruning so it also just i told in minimax algorithm to find the root node the value of max node it needs its successor node which is called as min node then this min node calculation needs its own successor nodes that is max nodes and in turn it needs min nodes and so on so in our example so you can have n number of levels to solve the problem so first it is alpha beta search so it will first take max that root node which in turn needs so it will call max value function so there the max value function to calculate the max value function it needs min value so it will call the function next slide min value function so min value it will call max value and so on in this way the search procedure will be continue and you will get the final resultant value at the root node so this is about alpha beta pruning so if you have any doubt you can ask uh hello Ma'am. Hello. Ah, hello. Ah, uh, ma'am. Ah, uh, there's a question. That is uh, in slide number nine. Why is max taken as minus infinity and why is mean taken as infinity? It is uh, assumption. It is an assumption. This worst case. We are taking example as worst case. It is an assumption. Okay. In this algorithm, it is uh, they have developed like that. So was uh, apart that there is no values. Worst case is. it may be we have only we have values in between that the maximum limit is minus infinity to plus infinity okay
Now we will give some time for the participants to raise their doubts related to the question. Uh, in the meantime, uh, can you summarize the entire session now uh, once? Yes. Okay. So minimax search procedure. So slide number five. I'm starting from slide number five. So I have, as I have explained earlier, uh, artificial intelligence it needs uh, to think over in four aspects. That is thinking humanly, acting humanly, thinking rationally, and acting rationally. So to do this, so acting rationally and thinking rationally is normal procedure. All the computer programming programmers and software developers they use that. But uh, they are using programming language called high-level programming or object-oriented programming, any other programming methods. But in artificial intelligence, we want to make the machine think. That is, sixth sense have to be used here. Make the uh, machine think like a human being and act like a human being. So for that, we we want to make the machine think like a human being and act like a human being as well. In addition to thinking and acting. Rationally, so for that, uh, the programming is called as agent-oriented programming. Here, the programming used is called as agent-oriented programming. So, agent we call the term as agent. The program or the software we, we don't call that as program or a software. It is called as an agent. The agent will do the task. So, many robots are working based on that. So that those agents will take the role. And the programming is called as agent-oriented programming, and many agents have been uh, discussed in the previous chapters. And so, to to make this possible, so we have to know about many uh, game algorithms to make this possible. So, in many artificial intelligence problem, so that that will come across. So, game also introduced game concepts also introduced in artificial intelligence. So, it it comes under the subheading search. So there is some difference between this search and the game. In search procedure, normal we have in many other subjects of computer science, uh, search algorithms have been discussed. So there we will start with a start state, traverse along different path, and finally until we reach the goal state, the, the procedure will be continued. But here we have to. Uh, Apart from this uh, search, here we have, as it is a game, we have opponent also. We have to consider the opponent also in mind and we have to proceed this. And this minimax algorithm is a search algorithm with two players, player one and player two. Player one is called as max and player two is called as min. And we have seen what is a game here. See, game means we have a formal definition for game. It comes at under search problem. Game is also categorized under search problem. So it has some components: initial state, successor function, terminal node, and utility function. And in this minimax algorithm, it works. Uh, first, max will get the turn. Then min will get the turn. Alternatively, max and min will be working. And until the final utility function is reached, it will be carried out. So first max will move, it will do its task, then min will get the turn. Finally, at the leaf node, utility function value will be calculated. And here the thing to be noted is this normal search algorithm, the strategy to be followed between normal search algorithm and the game. In normal search algorithm, the solution can be reached by sequence of moves from the start node till the goal node. But here, first uh, player one will move, then player two will get his turn, then and alternatively both the players will be uh, getting their turns. And we have seen one example case. So in this example, only two level is explained. We can have more number of levels. And we have seen the definition of this 
uh, minimax algorithm so uh, the thing is we want to find finally we want to find the utility value utility value have to be calculated in such a way that if the node is the player is min then minimum of its successor nodes will be its resultant value if the player is a max node then maximum of the of its successors will be the max value so till the root is reached uh, we have to calculate this and we have discussed the algorithm minimax algorithm so we have three functions there first function is the main function and we have two sub functions one for max value calculation and other for min value calculation so the max value calculation in turn it needs its successors min values and min value calculation needs its successors max value and in this way the search procedure will be working and coming on to alpha beta pruning see some of the drawbacks in this minimax search algorithm is encountered in alpha beta pruning so this minimax algorithm is time consuming it needs more nodes or it, it will traverse all the nodes no nodes will be left over all the nodes will be uh, traversed all the nodes are encountered to get the solution even though some nodes are not necessary for the final decision so in alpha beta pruning this drawback has been overcome we can overcome this drawback using alpha beta pruning that is some of the nodes can be ignored so with one example i have explained so with the same example i have taken the same example for your understanding so some of the nodes are labeled as x and y instead of having its value so even though you are you have given x and y values uh, we, we got the same final we don't know the value of x and y here in alpha beta pruning even though we got the same three value value as three in the root node so alpha beta pruning it will prune or remove some of the unwanted or those values that are not significant for the final resultant value and this is explained mathematically also so coming to the alpha beta pruning algorithm here also we have three functions first is the main function alpha beta pruning so if first it will first max player will get the turn so first max value will be called so function sub function max value will be called and so as i have already told you to find the function value max value it in turn needs min value so in the function it call it is comparing this value with the all minimum uh, no, value of the sub sub nodes and you will get a resultant value here and in order to find the minimum value it in turn needs its next level max value and this procedure will be continued to get the value of a root node okay I think I'm a little bit fast, and it is completed. Uh, okay, ma'am. Uh, actually, we have a question here. Yeah, another question that is: uh, Can you suggest another example for alpha beta pruning? Uh, yeah, this is it, uh, yeah. Any 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 number of nodes can be explained. Uh, suggest means. Uh, uh, that is see, levels there will be different in level. So here it is. Uh, root node, then three child nodes, and uh, many other nodes. See, tic tac toe is one example. Chess is one example. So any any player, two play, any two player game can be solved using this min max algorithm. Any any we can take any two player game. Okay, ma'am. Single player player game is not involved here. Multiplayer uh, more than two is also not involved here. Two player games can be 
any two player game can be taken as example here and here just only two levels i have explained only in two levels any number of levels see this b1 can have uh, its uh, two or three sub nodes uh, b2 can have its so, so they will come under again min so these are max see a is max uh, b c d or min b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 uh, d1 d2 d3 they are uh, max again if they have some child nodes if the game goes on it is continued if it's not getting winded there the utility value is not uh, uh, calculated there it will go to the next level so next level it will be the min min value and again it will be the max and it will go on like that so here at the third level uh, root node first level sec uh, at the second level the uh, utility function value is done so it is stopped there <coughs> Uh, Ma'am, actually, there is a continuation question. That is, the participant is asking whether the same problem can be solved using V as in the algorithm. Uh, she has put V in quotes. Sir. So, sir, sir. Uh, can we solve the same algorithm using V that is shown in the algorithm? Same. Yeah, same, same algorithm. The same algorithm is explained there. So, uh, same step is there in the algorithm. Okay. See first, yes, using this algorithm, only really, see with the example algorithm and this definition, the three are same, same concept. See example, there is one definition and the algorithm. Three are same thing, same thing is done in the three places. The three way the, uh, it is explained. Okay. Ma'am, uh, there's another question. That is, how is this position of x and y determined? In the algorithm. Yes. Uh, position of x and y. How is it determined? How will the uh, how is this position of x and y determined? See, is there any? Uh, sorry. That is, I think, uh, whether it's randomly fixed or is there any uh, 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 method in which the uh, x and y is fixed? I think the yeah, I have not explained any x or uh... x and y, ma'am, and the alpha, beta pruning that diagram and in the algorithm x and y is there, right? So, alpha, beta, okay. The current slide. Uh, 11th slide. 14 the slide. Yeah, 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 alpha beta. Yeah, yeah. X and uh, sir, uh, what's, what's the question? How is this X and Y determined? Whether it is randomly fixed or? Uh, yeah, randomly. You have, you have to check whether alpha is greater than beta. That condition has to be checked. If alpha is greater than beta, then you have to prune that. Okay, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, another one question is uh, from the exam point of view, uh, on which uh, aspect should the students press while studying this topic? For exam point of view, these three things with the example they have to explain. Algorithm they have to uh, explain. With example and definition they have to explain. Sometimes they will get the problem in this. There is utility value, that is, leaf node values will be given and they will be asked to calculate the root node. Okay. Um, can you suggest any uh, reference textbooks for this topic, for the subject? Uh, Stuart Russell and Peter Norvig. The standard artificial intelligence author book. Stuart Russell and Peter Norvig. There it is explained very clearly. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, I hope we don't have any more questions. And uh, the session was pretty clear, in fact, because uh, I am not from a CS background, but still I was also able to understand a lot about this artificial intelligence. And I am sure that I will be able to answer some of the questions in future if it comes related to Minimax algorithm and alpha beta pruning. In fact, it was very much clear. So, uh, I thank you for this very informative and wonderful session on uh, behalf of Government of Kerala, Higher Education Department, Government of Kerala, and also on behalf of ASAP. 
we thank dr angel vidhi for handling this informative session very informative session on artificial intelligence and uh, also in addition we admire and salute the uh, commitment shown by madam towards the academic commun community of the state at this times of crisis uh, actually we have a lot of uh, uh, technical or uh, it constraints uh, we are facing a lot of technical and it constraints even madam is facing to join using a mobile phone so but in spite of all these constraints she has opted to come on to our platform and uh, handle the session through a sap platform so we admire ma'am and we, we salute your commitment in that regard thank, thank, you, sir. thank you thank you thank you thank you and thank you for the opportunity okay ma'am thank you ma'am we welcome you and also i thank all the participants who have joined the session today uh